Okay, you guys, here is what is coming up. I'm in the process of redecorating my office, and I have been for the past two or three months. I sold my office furniture, and I wanted to redo it in black and white. And I was going to paint the walls black, redo the floors, etc., etc. And when I really started looking at my inspiration picture, it was beautiful. But when I think about my style, it wasn't true to my style. I'm more creative. I'm more colorful. Um, I even purchased this beautiful black and white piece that you see here. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's mirrored. You can kind of see my feet in here. But anyway... Um, I purchased that to go in my new office, and then when I started looking at, you know, the color of the wall, I love the color of my wall, I love color, and so I went to Hobby Lobby, they're currently having an 80% off sale, and I found these pieces, and I thought they would go great in my office. So here's the picture, and the picture was $14, I picked up two of those, and here's the, the like a little shelf or, you know, key hanger that I can hang near the door. And then I also picked up two shelves. The top piece is how the shelf looks on the top. And this bottom piece is just the little hangers and knobs I thought was really cute. And I believe that one was $10. Then I picked up the ceremony sand because I'm going to put some sand in a jar and kind of stick my pencils and things like that in there on my desk. And, you know, I think that would be pretty. The colors coordinate with the wall color. So I don't have to repaint my office. The other thing that kind of deterred me from painting my office black is that when I was talking to a painter, um, the painter let me know that painting a wall black is almost like painting a wall red. And I painted my bathroom wall a wet coral in our guest bathroom. And I'm telling you, it was a mess, you know, just to get it the right shade. I probably tried like three different shades of paint. And my painter was very frustrated. We were both frustrated. But in the end, we got it to work out. And I just didn't want to go through that again in this particular room. And if I change my mind, I don't know how easy it would be to convert, convert that black back to a brighter color. So anyway, I think I got the best of both worlds here. I have the black and white that I was looking for. I'm able to use my pre-existing walls. And I think these shelving units will be very functional. I'll still be able to use this black and white piece in here. I'm going to add a rug to the floor instead of redoing the floor right now. That's probably going to be a later project. And I think um, a black and white rug would be a nice accent or either that coral color will be a nice accent. We'll see what works out in here best. So this is my upcoming project that I'm putting together now since I'm at a standstill on my patio. I'm having some outdoor curtains custom made. And I'm also having some um, curtains custom made for my living area as well. So hopefully those will be finished up in the next week or so so that I can move forth on that. But you guys, you know me, I'm a multitasker. I can't just, you know, stick with one thing. I have to keep it moving. So we'll see how this turns out. I am looking for a desk and that's the only piece I'm really missing other than the rug for this particular room. So I'm really excited to see how things will come together. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a comment below. Tell me what projects you're currently working on in your home or any office inspiration websites that you know of because I want this to be more of a creative space. And another thing, I'm looking to um, use this, you know, office as a creative area. And I just, I'm not sure. I want to name it something. Um, at first, I called it the creation station. I really don't like that. I wanted something like a studio or I don't know, something to that nature. So if you guys can think of a neat name that I can get a sign made for my office door, please leave it in the comments below. I hope you guys are enjoying all these projects as much as I am. I surely appreciate your, um, you know, continued support. It really makes me feel good about what I do and sharing what I do. And, you know, ladies like at home with Nikki and be my guest with Denise Cooper and um, very Carrie, we, we really are passionate about making our homes beautiful. There's so many other beautiful bloggers out there. And we're so glad that you guys are enjoying this and supporting, and supporting us. So until next time, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. Bye-bye.